In this video, I'm going to show you the best way to completely neutralize any five wide formation that you're going to face in Madden 22 and basically make it so that they really can't pass the ball at a high level. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. I upload new videos every single day that can help you become a better Madden player. If you're new to the game and you're looking to get better right now, I have my Patreon membership that has all my eBooks in it. So I've got 13 offensive and defensive eBooks. I've got another one. I've done major updates to the nickel triple as well as a couple of other ones. We're going to talk about the nickel triple in this video. But if you want to get all of that for just one price of 10 bucks a month, join the Patreon. I promise you that we bring the most content and we also bring the best content. And in my personal opinion, we bring the most in-depth breakdowns that you're going to find. We really try to take what is actually working well and then we look at what is giving us problems and we really break that down in our eBooks. We talk about every formation, every every eBook, on, especially defensively, we talk about how you change your defense, or not change your defense, but you adapt it a little bit to formation to formation. Our offenses, we talk significantly about how you can basically beat every coverages and uh, deal with pressure, deal with all that stuff, deal with match, all that. So, uh, anyways, if you're looking to get better at the game, check out the Patreon. There's a link in the description below. But today I wanted to talk about a concept, or a not a concept, but a, um, well, I guess it is. Um, whenever you're facing someone that wants to run five wide, uh, this is my favorite defense in the game. It's my favorite defense for pretty much anything, but it's specifically my favorite defense for five wide. And I'm going to show you why. In this video, so um, cover one linebacker blitz. Nick Saban would say it is the best coverage in all of ball. What that basically means is cover one with a rat in a hole is very, very good because um, you force the opponent or you force the offense to have to throw the ball outside. Now, the way that we're going to teach this in this video, we're going to show you how you can actually get some really good pressure against a five wide set. So there was, uh, we're in the nickel triple today. We're going to be talking about my favorite play in the game right now, the cover one linebacker blitz. I think that this play is really, really effective. I'm going to show you a trick that makes this play even more effective uh, against spread type of sets and how we can basically press, um, press our way into a really good position. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to come out and cover one linebacker blitz out of nickel triple. You can find the nickel triple in the Chicago Bears defensive playbook. Um, and then I'm just going to come out in whatever. I, uh, let's come out in four verticals. We'll be fine, uh, which is what most people do out of this anyway. So cover one linebacker blitz. It's out. Now, what we're going to do here, and to illustrate this a little bit better, I'm going to move the ball to the other side of the field. Uh, it's going to work the same way regardless of hash, uh, but it's still... So if you take a look here, if I press coverage, you're going to notice that this is a major issue. Now, this is a major issue with 335 wide. It's a major issue with nickel triple. Any nickel set, especially if they put tight ends in there that, so that they can audible from a five wide and then they can go into a two back or something or ace. Um, the reason why it's bad is because you see here that we have what I call free access throws. So if I just put Mike Evans on a slant, you're going to see that I can throw it and take five, take five, take five, take five, take five, right? Um, that's what makes five wide so good in my opinion. Same thing is true over here. So what I could do is I could, for example, I mean, literally I could just double drag and this would be very difficult to stop because they're free access throws because there's no press and there's no reroute and there's not really good alignment. It gives us challenges. That's why five wide is in my opinion so good because not only can you attack both seams, but you also get free releases on your interior guys because you've got a safety or you've got linebackers that are covering them in coverage. So how do we fix that? Well, the first way that we're going to fix that is by uh, doing uh, this quick adjustment. What we're going to do is we're going to show blitz. What you're going to notice is whenever we show blitz, this guy is now going to be in a, a press man-to-man -man alignment. So now we get press across the board. So if I were to take Evans and throw him on a slant, now he might still get open, but it's not a free access throw. I Meaning I got a guy right there, right? It's going to at least take a second uh, to get that open which is huge for the defense, okay? So then the last or the next kind of piece of this that we want to do is we want to give the illusion that we can send some pretty significant pressure. So what I like to do is take this guy and basically run him down off the edge and the kind of mirror that I'm going to send pressure with this player, okay? Now they got to at least think about pressure, obviously. And then I can come down like this and I've got press alignment across the board. Now cover one, when you press out of cover one, you're not going to get beat as long as you have good corners. If you're worried about getting beat, you can always shade over top. But what this is going to do is now their free access throws are not available. And look how fast that pressure is coming in. 
I'm now lurking. I'm the rat in the hole, if you will, because I know that the likelihood of them getting like a corner route or a fade open on me, actually fairly slim to none. And if I want to get some really good pressure, I just put my guy on a blitz here and we can shade outside if you want to take away those access, those fades on the outside and the corners because um, we've got a rat in the hole. You're the rat. You're going to be right in here and you're going to take away any kind of cross or any kind of slant. So if they run a concept like this, you see here pressure comes in really fast. And as you can see, you know, we've got everything locked up. Now, if you wanted to go with a little bit more of a coverage, let's say for whatever reason, I don't know why you would ever run coverage on five wide, but you can. Uh, so we're going to get this guy down just like that. See how he goes down really naturally in this defense. Um, but now what we're going to do, if we wanted to run some coverage, is I like to crash my line out. And then all we're going to simply do here is I, I would recommend go ahead and take this linebacker, this middle linebacker, throw him in a deep third because we want to be able to use her, uh, this guy. And then what I would do on the uh, with this uh, with this guy McKinney here or McKinley uh, is just simply drop him into a bluff blitz, and now you've got a good three man pass rush. And I would definitely shade outside. You might even want to shade over top on this. But now you see here you're going to have great sheds, and you're going to have that rat in the hole now as your DT, and you can feel free to use her whatever you need to use her. So this is probably my favorite. If if I see five wide, which five wide honestly is not a bad offense this year, it's probably it's probably one of the better offenses this year because the way that you pick up pressure is you block the tight end. Um, that's kind of the easiest way to pick up pressure. And I, I, I can't show it in this video, but we could still manipulate that a little bit with this defense in particular. But And we show that in the ebook. But anyways, the bottom line is um, this is going to take away those access throws. You're going to force them to make mistakes. This is my favorite defense. If my opponent comes out in five wide, 90% of the time I'm going to be in this. And if you wanted to, if you really wanted to get a justy, bring this guy over and man him up on the tight end because now you get a good coverage player there and then bring your linebacker back over the A-gap. And now, I mean, now this is just an absolute box, as you can see. So, anyways, that is uh, my favorite defense for five wide because the press gives you enough time to get your blitz in and to get your user back in the middle of the field so you can take any slant, anything quick, and there's just nothing open if you run it like this. So thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. You want to learn more about the nickel triple. Uh, there's a link in the description below where you can check out my Patreon by joining the Patreon. You're going to get access to all of my Madden 22 eBooks as, as soon as you join. Uh, so if you're still watching this video and you really want to get better at this game, head on down to the description and click on that Patreon link and go check out that, uh, go check out this nickel triple stuff. It's really, really good.